there, this is Jen, and thanks so much for joining me on the Not Too Shabby channel on this beautiful Sunday evening. I am creating a few cards using the June box of the month, which was so fabulous that it already sold out. So um, you can check and see, there might be some individual items still left. Uh, when I checked yesterday, there were some left. So if you go ahead and check out the website, you might be able to grab some of your favorite paper pads and stamp sets. Um, I am basically doing the same layout for three different cards today with each of the stamp sets that are included in the box. So for the first card, I am using the stamp set that is called Be Happy. And I've gone ahead and taken an embossing folder and created that honeycomb background. And then I'm going to take some Distress Spray and Prize Ribbon and a spritz a little bit of that. And I'm also going to grab the Salvage Patina and a spritz a little bit of that as well. And then I'm going to take my heat tool and dry that up and then add a little bit of color, more color um, as needed. But the same, this for every card is basically the same process, uh, just a different stamp and different colors. But I'm just going to quickly kind of show um, a walkthrough of each of them. And a lot of my panels I get on there crooked. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm taking a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half uh, cardstock for my panel and then the smaller panel is actually Bristol Smooth cardstock and that is cut down to I believe four and a quarter by three and again that's Bristol Smooth cardstock just because I'm using spray and water uh, which Bristol takes that very well and so uh, I'm just kind of doing a dry run of my layout and the strip of pattern paper that I'm using is from the, I think it's the Sunflowers and Honey paper pad, uh, which when I looked is not available. So even that single individual item did sell out by itself. It is a beautiful paper pad though. Um, but if you ha are, have this kit or are uh, getting it soon in the mail, um, hopefully this will give you some ideas on some different ways to use some of the contents. Uh, I mean, then I'm grabbing a, a sentiment from my stash and adding a few of the this calls for confetti uh, mix that was included in the box um, and added a little bit of white splatter as well as some uh, metallic white splatter and that's going to finish off this first card um, the blue and yellow such a beautiful um, color combination and really great for um, creating cards for support of ukraine so uh, this paper pad does have a lot of yellows and blues um, really beautiful for this next card, I'm using some pattern paper from, from the 6x6 Honey Bear paper pad. I pulled out two patterns. I don't end up using both of them. I didn't like how they layered together, and so I'm going to just end up using the floral. Uh, but for this one, I'm using kind of just a striped uh, embossing folder for my background, and I'm going to spritz on that some of the Salvage Patina and some Twisted Citron. And then I felt the green was too much. And so I went back over it with some more salvage patina. I'll go ahead and dry that up. And then I added some distress oxide and salvage patina as well. Uh, just to darken up that uh, blue a little bit. And then uh, I'm following the same process as I did for the first one. I went ahead and popped up the strip of paper. And then all of my images today are Copic colored. And I use my scan and cut to uh, cut these out. So I'm just going to start adhering all of my pieces to the card panel, starting with this cute little honey bear. And in the stamp set, this honey bear actually has a little circle that you can stamp onto his cheek, uh, which is so adorable. I did not do that for this one, but um, that's what that little circle is. I wasn't so sure at first, and then I think I saw Jamie use it, and I was like, oh, that makes sense. So <laughs> in case you were wondering um, there, what that little circle for in the stamp set, um, that works perfectly as a little blush on the honey bear's cheek. And while I'm assembling this card, I just wanted to let you know in case you weren't already aware, which you probably are, but there are several subscriptions for the Not Too Shabby Shop. There is, of course, the box of the month, which has sold out, by the way, the last several months. So if you're interested in uh, making sure that you get one of these every month, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And then there is also the stamp and die of the month and then the paper pad um, of the month. So lots of different options to choose from with some very, very awesome products. So I hope you uh, check those out and see what is available. 
And uh, that's going to finish off of that second card. So I just added a few of the leaves on the bottom and then on the top, then added that cute little, um, is it a honeycomb? A honey hive. Beehive. Yes, that's what it's called. I added the beehive. And then for the next card, I'm using the stamp set with the gnomes in it and then this piece of pattern paper with the sunflowers on it. For my embossing folder for this one, I am just using one. It looks like mainly um, daisies. This is one of the Doris embossing folders. So I'm going to go ahead and follow that same process and um, emboss the small piece of um, a Bristol Smooth cardstock. For this one, I am using some squeezed lemonade and spiced marmalade for my colors. This one was a little bit of a mess for me. I got ink all over my fingers and then I ended up getting ink in other places that I didn't want it on my card. And so there's a little smudges here and there that I tried to remove as best as I could with one of the sand erasers. Um, and that's kind of why I put that cloud up in the corner because there's a little smudge that I couldn't get off. Um, but, but basically the same process, the same layout. I'm just adding uh, the elements around the card and that's pretty much it. I absolutely loved making these cards. They were so fun and so easy just to take the pattern paper and match the colors that I wanted um, and just a blast. So I hope you have fun with your boxes this month. Don't forget to subscribe to the Not Too Shabby channel. The design team has all sorts of fabulous projects all throughout the month um, sharing different ideas for all of the different subscriptions as well as different supplies that Jamie has in her shop. So I encourage you to uh, subscribe and click on that bell as well. Last but not least, if you like this video or found it informative, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. Um, thanks so much for joining me today and I hope to see you soon.